This country has just been named the happiest in the world. To say the past year has been a difficult one for people across the globe is something of an understatement. Not only has the COVID-19 pandemic resulted in the deaths of over 2.6 million people worldwide, it's also led to a massive shakeup in everyday life for many of us. But despite the devastating events of the last 12 months and resulting decline in mental health in number of destinations, there has been no change at the top spot when it comes to ranking the happiest country in the world. For the fourth year running, Finland has come out on top in the annual list powered by data from Gallup World Pool, with Iceland, Denmark, Switzerland and the Netherlands following in 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th position respectively, while the United States moved up from 18th to 14th place and the United Kingdom dropped from 13th to 18th, Australia held its 12th place position. We need urgently to learn from COVID-19, said reporter co-editor Jeffrey Sachs, professor and director of the Center for Sustainable Development at Columbia University. The pandemic reminds us of our global environment threats, the urgent need to cooperate and the difficulties of achieving cooperation in each country and globally. It's worth nothing that the World Happiness Report 2021 has been collated slightly differently this time round due to coronavirus. Not only were researchers unable to complete face-to-face -face interviews in a number of countries, they also had to switch things up entirely by focusing on the relationship between well-being and COVID-19. The report has been primarily based on levels of GDP, life expense, generosity, social support, freedom and corruption income since its launch in 2012. Not only were researchers unable to complete face-to-face -face interviews in a number of countries, they also had to switch things up entirely by focusing on the relationship between well-being and COVID-19. The report has been primarily based on levels of GDP, life expense, generosity, social support, freedom and corruption income since its launch in 2012. Although there have been some changes in the top 10, with Iceland rising two places from 4th to 2nd on the list and Norway dropping from 5th to 8th place. The ranking was strikingly similar to the previous year for the most part which is viewed as a positive sign. Surprisingly, there was not on average a decline in well-being when people measured own evaluation of their lives, said the University of British Columbia professor John Halliwell who also contributed to the report. One possible explanation is that people see COVID-19 as a common outside threat affecting everybody that this has generated a greater sense of solidarity and fellow feeling. Other notable moments on the list include Germany, which has jumped from 17th to 7th place in the last year. Croatia, which was among the destinations where face-to-face -face interviews were able to take place, rose from number 79 to 23 on the list. Researchers say it's no surprise that Finland has retained the top position once again, as the Nordic country has always ranked highly when it comes to mutual trust. Trust is recognized as one of the major factors that help to protect people during the pandemic as well as confidence in governments. For instance, Brazil's death rate was significantly higher than Singapore's, a fact report put partially down to the difference in public trust in the government of each country. It also noted that the America and Europe had much higher COVID-19 fatalities than East Asia, Australia and Africa. The report suggests that the average age of country population, whether it's in Iceland and its proximity to other highly infected countries, were contributing factors in the disparity between death rates globally. While successful vaccine rollouts in various countries have provided a much-needed boost to many lockdowns, social distancing, face covering and travel restrictions are part and parcel of living with the virus, and that's not even taking the economics implications into account. As a result, the report found that the decline in mental health was immediate in many countries, including the UK where the number of mental health problems reported was 47% higher in May 2021 than predicted before COVID-19. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the World Happiness Report 2021 also found that lockdowns and social distancing impacted workforce well-being tremendously. According to the data collected, those unable to work due to follow or redundancy who said they were lonely at the start of the pandemic became 43% less happy than those who did not feel lonely to the begin with.